hey guys welcome back to my channel yes um guys i've gone for my covid19 test i'm gonna be going for to pick up the results today you know funny enough i didn't even know that it was gonna be i knew it was supposed to be a requirement but i asked my husband to you know ask one of his friends that just traveled from nigeria to um the u.s you know about what was asked and what of you and he said nothing nothing and all that you know just for some funny reason i said just let me you know check the website of the you know guys those people too in this process of immigrating you just have to be on top of everything you do you know because any slightest mistake can take you back 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 to the back seat and you don't want that i immediately called my husband that covid 19 test is uh, uh what's it called is actually a requirement so I had to go for my and it was quite late it was about uh, two days ago that i just found out i was getting prepared i said let me just know you know if i could speak to anyone that has you know traveled from you whether immigrating or just traveling for a business whether you know for a business or whatever you know let me just ask the person what the person was had to face at the airport you know at the border so to say but there was nobody and he, when i asked my husband to ask one of his friends i just traveled he said nothing thank god i went to my check so i had to go for my covid 19 test yesterday and your covid 19 test must not be more than 48 hours must not exceed 48 hours before your departure so i tried to do the calculation and even i had to tell the guy that uh, conducted the uh, conducted the test and I didn't want it to be more than 48 hours before my departure. I had to explain to him the time I showed him my, you know, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. And so I had to do the test yesterday. So I'm picking up the result today. And um, I have my document. I have everything. And I'm also going to share with you guys everything that I had to take with me, you know, to the U.S. I'm still in Nigeria now. So once I get to the U.S. and um, if I'm, once I'm able to... Um, settle in a little bit i'm going to share with you guys everything that i had to take with me you know to the u.s and things that we have at the border okay and things that you should just try and let go leave behind because you don't want to um face the risk of having to dispose your um personal um properties at the airport because you know our nigerian people they will purposely ask you to drop it because they want it <laughs> and you drop it because they want it and if you're the type that will go with people it's good for you then you can turn back and go and give it to your family member or friends i don't know if i'm gonna be going with anybody but i'll share with you guys everything that you have to do things that you just have to let go you know to avoid any form of embarrassment and the airports okay i'm gonna be your eyes okay watch this space i'm gonna share with you and um what again look at my stuff everything is too <laughs> tidy so i'm really gonna unpack and you know and um repack because i've got a lot i have one bag here so i have like five bags so somebody's bringing another bag for me so guys um um saturday was my mom's birthday and um, i got her one small thing a little a little 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 tiny thing i bought a car you know because i felt that she she deserved it you know she's she's an angel i love her so much i just had to you know do what i had to do it wasn't easy for me but then i said i must do this you know I, not that she, that she doesn't have a car because you know like i said i think i've it's a, you know shared this with a friend before whenever i'm happy i'm always looking out for uh who to bless this is what i do i don't know why it's just my default mood whenever i'm happy i look around who can i bless who can i make happy and all that so i actually collected my mom's car without thinking it through but then i'm happy that i did what i did I'm happy i collected my mom's car with a space boss because she's always been 
you know overly um all out to you know love a sienna car sienna sienna space bus space bus the space bus i want the grandma car grandma's car grandma's car you know i she has a space bus okay i just felt you know what i collected a space bus i gave it out to someone else in the church and um am i supposed to be saying this no so i collected a car i gave it out to someone else stepping out to start pricing cars and what have you i realized that the prices that i got you know are um, quite beyond my budget okay so i got ridiculous prices and i was left with no choice because i've collected a bus or a car i'm giving it out so i must just buy another one before i leave nigeria so i had to do what i had to do and i'm happy that i did that because i was you know if there's anything I've, I've done you know for the past two weeks you know that i'm happy about is the fact that i got a car that she's been been saying uh i want this i want this i want grandma's car i want grandma's car and she was so particular about it you know i just felt in my heart i said i'm gonna buy her this car but then you know the time has come so that's all about that go for your covid19 test guys if you already have your visa go for your covid19 test if you have a date for your interview please be prepared be prepared go with everything that you have got your certificate your unit you know don't say to yourself oh it's not i'm not applying for a student visa go with everything i shared with you my experience at the embassy so don't leave any stone untouched okay go with everything that you have okay and previous previous videos okay go with everything like i had said a guy was asking me um that he, he wouldn't mind to pay you know you just want to know uh, what to prepare for how to prepare for it and all that you know he kept on messaging me and i'm like you know you don't need to pay anybody if you've put forward your you know best foot so to say if you haven't lied if your husband is your husband is your husband your wife is your wife you know so to say your spouse is your spouse and you know everything about your spouse you don't need to prepare for anything seriously it's not a big deal i was at that stage you know i wanted somebody that could you know i watched too many videos but then i felt you know i don't think there would be any question that would be asked that you won't ordinarily know okay your husband's name your spouse's name and all that you know how you met and all that so i don't think one need to get a a, a uh, go for classes to attend this interview you don't need it just go the way you are okay go with every of your documents get yourself familiarized with um some information about your spouse because really if I had been asked some questions that I heard during my um, interview, you know, that was put to some other people, you know, maybe I wouldn't have been able to answer those questions because we're personal questions that I never averted my mind to. Okay. And the question like, um, I can't even remember, but you just have to familiarize yourself with everything about your spouse. Okay. Any question can come up at any time. Just... But, you know, there are some things that I don't think you'll be penalized for, even if you don't know it. Okay. They are reasonable people, you know. So, there are some f just very flimsy things that you can, you know, um, you can be pardoned for, even if you don't know them. If you don't know those the answer to the questions. So, just go the way you are. You need to overly prepared for it. Just know everything about your spouse. That's all. How you met and everything. So... I just had to tell the guy that you know if you want to ask me a question um i would rather you know prefer you put the question down in the comment section so that when i answer the question other people can you know have something to take out from my response you know i answered this question i can't even remember how i answered this question you know but then again i would have preferred if he has if, if he had asked that question on the platform or he asked me he, he sent a dm to me 
on Instagram. So I had to personally, you know, engage him. And I said to him that uh, when next you want to ask me a question like this and you want me to be very explicit, I'd rather you put it in the group, in the platform so that any other person can learn from it. Okay, this is like an household, another household for me where I can sit down in my house, depending when I'm going to get busy again. <laughs> even, if I, even, when, even if I get busy again, I really want to just sit down because most of the time, what actually prompted my... Um, opening of um, youtube channel was the fact that most of the time once I'm, when if i'm in my house doing nothing i get to speak to myself a lot i just speak to myself like it's crazy i do it a whole lot and i say to myself why not just have have this youtube video and start documenting some things talk to people that you cannot see since you have you know i take pleasure in talking to myself most of the time when I'm alone so why not so that's what um, you know um, necessitated my channel okay I just want to now I have some friends I don't know and they are my friends now I talk to them like we are pals like we are already pals not like we are pals okay that's what this channel is about okay so and and that's lady that's you know just mind our business and our space i really now have so many friends so why not if you can make friends online people that you cannot see and check they check up on you check up on them and what have you okay life cannot couldn't have been can, life cannot get better than that you know that's all about that okay i just felt i should share with you guys go for your covid 19 test what again um you know just get your transcript i think i've done that i've sent i've sent my transcript to uh the new york bar you know they've received it they've acknowledged it okay go with the put together your certificates since you're migrating and um and um you will need some of those things okay so i'll share with you everything okay so if you have not subscribed yet subscribe to my channel i don't know i'm just a little bit down in my spirits i don't know why and i'm traveling tomorrow i'm leaving nigeria tomorrow and i don't think i'll be back in the next six months i can't believe i'm saying that out loud and i can't believe i'm doing this i can't believe this day has come okay but then again it is what it is so i'm traveling tomorrow and um i'm just a little bit down in my spirit i don't know what to do i have things to do yeah but i'm just a little draggy my husband called yesterday hope you've packed your things now because i couldn't really pack i had to call people to help me my sisters to help me you know and i made some videos with my babies you know watch the video it's quite funny <sighs> so that's uh i'm missing everybody really i'm missing you too <laughs> i'm missing everybody everybody you know i don't even know i want to make some people happy today can you help me that's about that subscribe to my channel share you know even if you don't like this channel just subscribe for whatever it is what you're not going to pay just subscribe to my channel okay click on the notification button with that you get to be notified whenever i upload my videos okay i'm really gonna bring you guys into my space so enjoy it okay stay blessed and um i'm not gonna leave without you know doing one more video okay i've packed my life in the travel bag i am moved Move. <laughs> okay so i'm gonna you know, show you guys if i'm able to do it you know bring you guys to my my journey i'll bring you guys through my journey from nigeria to the united states so stay tuned to my channel 
Olorun to to be Olorun ba ba da Aye o ba o mo o O forun se bugbe Orun o ba o mo o O faye sha bo ti ti se Olorun to to be Oh, I'm bored. I'm so bored. Oh, God, I'm so bored. Emi kole shee ke mi ma inyo li wa o. Emi kole shee ke mi ma inyo li wa o. Baba mi lo jee, olorun wakba lakba. Baba mi lo jee, olorun wakba o ye. Emi kole shee ke mi ma inyo li wa o. Alleluia. Then you wanna what to do. I should be on my way out now. I will exalt you, Lord. This is why you created me. Why is that, though? That's a procedure. So that what? That's a procedure. Yes, so that's what. Any kind of that you take that number and then you drive <laughs> I hope you're not bad, man. No, no, it's okay. Ouch. I need to pick up my tent. I can't even believe I stepped out like this. Like, I couldn't even do anything. So I want to pick up my COVID-19 test. I'm out ready to now. So, uh, good morning. I was here yesterday. I want to pick up my test. Did you go to the coffee? No. Tomorrow, early tomorrow morning. What's it? I didn't leave around. What is it? Okay. Yes. Bukola Ashiku. Ashik, yes, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna drive back here. Get ready. I need to just get myself ready. Sleep. Yeah, and wait for till tomorrow. Hello? Yes, ma. Ah, come on, one by you. Yes, ma. Amen, ma. Hey. <laughs> Money is yes. I'm in ma. Amen. <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, okay, okay. So, be sure to leave her. Be sure to leave her. How you do? Okay. How do you want to buy your consular? Yeah, I'm a bad number. I'm a bad number. I'm a bad number. I'm a bad number. Eh, o ma gbe yin lola, o ma gbe yin wa ba mi. Eh, wa ni mo ko tani to ba ti mo. Eh, ko ko dani. Eh, so mo 1000. Eh ya. Eh. Yes, you see wala. Yes, ma. Sesha, sesha like ya sha. Oh, fa, fa. Mo ba mo ina na like na lo shun ko. Eh, ama be sin aye 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 gba mi. Aye gba mi. Aba aba ma tele la ti je bu ni. Eh, aye gba mi, ele wa oni ka lu ko ati ma ye bayi nsin. Grammar ska. Yes, aye wa. Aye wa. Aye wa. Let's ma. Okay ma. All right. Oh, do we do lamu fair ba COVID nineteen test? Me too much. Okay, let's go. Okay, ja. Right, ready, sin. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right, ma. Amen. All right, ma. Go down. Good afternoon. I wasn't really sleeping while driving. Ma, I had to wait for like two hours to get my test. The result of the test I did yesterday. So I have it now. So I'm almost ready to move. We move. I've been sleeping so I'm just tired. I need to sleep. But you need to go sleep. Yeah, I feel good. Where are you now? So what's your plan? Eh? Oh, you want me to send it through Uber? Yeah. Okay. Switching off and on. Okay. I'll let you know. All right, yeah. Oh, I can't believe I slept off. Just ready to. Just retire. 